gentleman from South Carolina is recognized for three minutes. Thank you, Chairman. And uh, I would uh, join in urging my colleagues to defeat this democratic motion to instruct the conferees. And I, and I do so very much tied to the, the working families that I talk to back home. Because, you know, working families back home believe in balance in the checkbook. They have to do it every day in their lives. And what they say to me is, why in the world can't you guys do the same up in Washington, D.C.? And in that regard, if we were to go the other route, I mean, take in mind the President's budget proposed going from running structural $500 a, a billion dollars a year deficits to $1.1 trillion a year deficits. You know, this is moving in the wrong direction if we go with the instructions. I, I think that when I talk to working families back home, what they tell me is, you know, we got to deal with problems as they come along. Um, doing nothing is not an option. So when there's a hole in the roof, they're out there with tin or they're out there with shingles, and they're, in fact, repairing the roof. When there's a problem in the septic tank, they're out there with a shovel digging and trying to fix it. And in the same regard, I think what the committee and what the conference has come up with with regard to looking at a way of saving Medicare to be very, very instructive. You know, as has already been noted, within 15 years, the actuaries say that, that the Medicare fund will be out of money. Doing nothing is indeed not an option. And I think, you know, philosophically, you've got to look at this and say, did Medicare D work? It has worked. This is giving choice. So in essence, 50 million seniors get to decide the future of Medicare versus 15 unelected bureaucrats in Washington, D.C. And finally, I would say... What's important about this, I think, from the standpoint of working families, is what they tell me is that borrowing from Peter to pay for Paul never works. It doesn't work in, in, in their budgets at home. It shouldn't work in Washington, D.C. And yet, with this proposal to come up with paid sick leave, a lot of people would love that. But it ought to be addressed at a state level. States run on balanced budget requirements. A number of states are coming up with proposals to that effect. But if we do it here in Washington, D.C., at the very time when we're running structural $500 billion deficits, it means we're handing the bill off to the kids to pay for this. We're indeed borrowing from Peter to pay for Paul. And it's for those very reasons that I urge defeat of the Democratic motion to, to instruct and would yield back the balance of my time. General.